Okay, uh, I'm Michael Holland with the Macro Micro Exhibit, and we've got some cool new features to share today. Uh, we brought a unit with us that is all about venom. Now, last time you had it was all about sharks, so these are different kinds of predators, right? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, this time we're interested in things that really want to get poison into your body. Okay, let's take a look at some of them here. Which sounds a little a little scary, but it's pretty cool. Uh, we've got a few examples here that are all doing this. Um, these are very dramatic because they're huge. In real life, the specimens are only about this tall. These are the fangs of a tarantula. Wow. And you can see at the tip here, there's this little hole. That's yeah. the outlet where venom is released. There's a gland at the base down here, and these are hollow. I've got another print of the same thing right here, a little smaller, with a cutaway. So you can see in this channel, this is the way the liquid flows all the way up until it finds its way out that outlet. And squirts out really quickly. And squirts out really quickly. Right. And so this is essentially a hypodermic needle, right? right. Uh, and then if we go out a little further on the family tree and we look at this organism, this is our print of the stinger of a scorpion. Wow. Um, I've actually got one here in resin. Uh, so how many times bigger that is this than the real scorpion? Uh, let's see, this guy, I think, I think it's 16. I have to right. look that up to be sure. Uh, it's, it's a good deal larger than actual size. Right. But because it's a digital model, we can do whatever we want with it once we've scanned. And so I've sectioned it and we can open it. And now you can see on either side, there are these chambers here. That's where the venom gland is located. Right. So there are two glands and there are two ducts that come all the way up to the tip of this thing. So and then like right death. at the point, yeah. yeah, there's the outlets right there. Right. So it's doing the same thing as the spider, again, right? Mm -hmm. But times two. Right. I'm not sure why there are two. Could just be a redundant system because it's bilaterally symmetrical. I'm now this sure. thing here looks like a tent peg. Yeah, well, yeah, actually it, it does. It looks a lot like that. Uh, this is a different strategy to get venom into an animal. This is a spine out of a lionfish. And the lionfish is an invasive species, especially here in Florida. It's a big problem. Uh, but they have this great self-defense mechanism where their fins have all of these spines in them. And when an animal shows up and bumps into one of these things, that will penetrate into the animal, pushing the soft tissue around that spine and compressing it. That squeezes a gland at the base, releasing the venom, which then flows by capillary action down these grooves. So it's still delivering venom, but it's not squirting it through a tube it's just relying on capillary action to carry it into the wound that is resulting from the, the tip of the spine. Great. So we've got that one going on. Let's see. Oh, last but not least, rattlesnake fang. Uh, same kind of story, right? We've got a hollow tapered structure. We're pointed. We've got a huge outlet here for the venom to be released quickly. So essentially, we've got many ways to, to poison you. Um, okay. Fascinating stories to be told here. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.